Oh, there. That ought to be comfy. <sighs> Nothing wrong with this, Morton. Nothing wrong with this. <laughs> Just you and me in the spec, shooting the breeze. We're a club. We're a group. We can take a vote on the issues. We can be a secret society that controls the balance of power in the world. Horton. And no one else can join unless they wear funny hats. <laughs> Listen, Horton. The chair recognizes Brother Morton. I'm really happy you found this speck and all. But you might want to think about keeping it to yourself. Hmm? What? Why? Well, you're talking to a clover. That doesn't look good. You know what doesn't look good? You talking about the speck like the speck isn't even there. The speck never said anything bad about you. But hey, good luck with your illusion of superiority. You know, the speck can think anything it wants about me. It's a speck. Whoa. I see what's going on here. Morton, no matter how tight, the speck and I get. The speck could never <clears throat> replace you. I'm only sad that I would have to explain that at this point. Well, that's awesome, Horton. That really helps. Just try to keep this to yourself. I'll see you later. Try. Hmm. Uh... Hey, Horton. What you got there? <gasps> what? Nothing. We're not doing anything. Dum -dum -dum -dum. We're totally alone. Who's we? We? What? We? Did I say that? I just... Oh, no, I would never say that because that would imply that I was uh, with someone and not alone. <laughs> okay, seriously, you can't tell anybody. I mean it. If anybody finds out about this, it could be very, very bad. I'm not sure why. We won't tell anyone. And if we do, we'll tell them not to tell anyone. Perfect. <gasps> okay, I'm taking a bath, right? Because my skin gets kind of dry and a little bit ashy. While Horton came clean about the speck that he found and how he had saved it when it nearly drowned, the mayor set off on his morning commute and noticed things weren't quite the same on his route. But please don't blame Horton, for he didn't know that a small bump above... And I dove into the water like this! <laughs> was a big bump below. Hey, Joe! Don't work too hard! Ah, these luxury condos, they don't build themselves! Hey, look at that! I guess they do build themselves! Okay, that happened. Now, the mayor knew it was his job to convey the unusual things that he noticed that day, but there was one problem. Though his will was strong... You're late. Thank you, Monsieur. Nothing in Whoville had ever gone wrong. We have all that we need. We need, we need all that we've got. We, we like it in Whoville. We like it a lot. We're all very busy with the Who's and Tanny Hole coming up, so let's bring this meeting to order. Mr. Mayor, I presume you have some good news for us. Well... It's news. I don't know if we need to go labeling it good or bad or anything like that. The thing is, I have noticed some odd goings on in Whoville lately. Good odd goings on? Well, you know, tremors, clouds swirling in the sky, and it seems to me, just to be safe, we might want to consider postponing the Centennial. Consider what? Postponing the Centennial? What? Speak up, man! Postponing the Who-Centennial, all right? We are about to celebrate 100 years of Whoville happiness and harmony. And you want to postpone the celebration? Well, what if Whoville's not safe? Nothing ever goes wrong in Whoville. Never has, and never will. You blathering boob. 